Stop 3, St. Mary's Church of Ireland. The churchyard is hidden from view by a very old stone wall, which faces onto Emmet Street. In 1795, a new set of entrance gates and piers were erected at a cost of £12. These gates still survive today. The present church was rebuilt to a design by James Payne about 1828. It incorporates part of an earlier church of circa 1700. The church has a tea plan and is built of limestone ashlar. The windows have simple Gothic style timber frames. An extension was added to the East End in 1903 and also at this period new stained glass windows were installed by Watsons of Yall. A curious feature to the west of the church is the old gable wall with its five circular opes. This wall is about 32 feet long and 30 feet high, the windows being of dressed sandstone. After much research, it now seems certain this wall is all that remains of the old pre-Reformation parish church of St. Mary the Virgin, records of which date back to the 1300s. In 1642, during the Civil War, the Irish rebels under a Captain Fennel destroyed the interior of the church and used it as a stable and prison for the Protestant inhabitants. This church is described by historian Charles Smith, writing in 1746. Formerly the parish church was a large building with a high steeple, but the whole was demolished by Cromwell. It is at present rebuilt where the chancel of the old church stood. The banks of the churchyard are washed by the ocean at high water, the same being handsomely laid out into gravel walks planted with trees. The beautiful view from here much admired by 18th and 19th century visitors to Dungarvan, can still be appreciated today. There is a very large graveyard with many interesting old gravestones. The pathway through the churchyard was an ancient right of way for the fishermen of Borina Traw to their boats on the quay. On the west side of the cemetery, near the pathway, is a memorial erected to mark the site of a mass grave of those who were drowned on the ship Moresby, wrecked in Dungarvan Harbour in 1895. The little Neo-Tudor style house in the corner of the churchyard is the Old Church of Ireland School, built in 1846. Return to the entrance gate and walk right for 20 metres until you come to the entrance of Dungarvan Town Park.